Hi guys, welcome back to my makeup tutorial. Like I said, I think I'm on a roll on these ones. I hope you enjoyed my Diwali makeup tutorial and I'm trying to do one for like the festivals that's in that particular month. I'm pretty sure you can tell from what I'm wearing, what I'm doing today is a very glam night Christmas look. You can actually do it in the day as well. But yeah, I'm already decked up with the Christmas attire and I'm just gonna do things how I always do it. Like I feel like I already had makeup on my face from the day. So we will take off the makeup together today. I'm gonna put the lashes with you, my lenses with you, like literally hair, face, it's everything in one makeup tutorial. So let's get started with uh, removing my makeup. This is like the regular makeup that I have every day. Usually I would prefer washing my face, but I'm assuming I'm in a rush. It's Christmas time and you know, I don't have the time. So I'm just gonna quickly use a wet wipe and prep my skin real well so that even though I don't wash it, you kind of still don't see nothing. Okay, so the makeup is off and uh, we'll start with what I usually start. So the look that I want to create today, it's like a little glam, so I want to use lenses. We're using the same Olin lenses that I always use. I like to go on with my lenses first because if I just have moisturizer or makeup, I find myself having like leaving finger marks. Gosh, no matter how many times I do this, I'll still have like teary eyes. But yeah, we're good grey lenses. I'm ready to kill the night. So I'll do my hair first today, but I like to leave my prep on for a good five to 10 minutes. So while I'm doing my hair, I'm gonna just quickly do my prep. Literally just put nothing. By the way, I did quickly just wash my face. What I'm using is a toner. This is a serum that is um, from Forest Essentials. I use it every day. It's supposed to be with hyaluronic acid and everything, so it's a good replacement for your hyaluronic acids in case if you're trying to use something that's organic and doesn't have any chemicals in it. So I think that's a great product for that. I also started using this as one of my makeup preps. I feel like my skin looks a lot more hydrated if I do my prep well. Okay, some eye cream. Since this is like the thinnest part of your skin below your eye and we have so many concealers and everything that goes on there, it really tends to crease if you don't prep them well. So you gotta like really moisturize and hydrate that area. So use your fingers like, oh yeah, I forgot I don't have nails. So your finger is like the best tool. Funny part, I've been using this moisturizer for quite some time. I don't even know what it is. It's like pretty wrinkled. <laughs> And I have, I mean, lenses. I think it's in Brioise. It is around two and a half thousand rupees. Very, very hydrating. And it's so appropriate when you're gonna go on with like a truckloads of products on your face. All right, and for the lips, I'm using a lip oil or any balm is good, but basically I, like I use so much lipstick on a daily basis that my lips tend to crack a lot, but yeah. So that's the base. So while that sits there and kind of prepares the face, let's quickly do the hair. So for the hair, we're kind of doing one of these most trending again hairstyles. You know, all of these Bella Hadid and your JG, your Haley, all of them do it. It's one of the most popular ones where you basically have a middle partition and you have a, you take your hair back sideways and then have a top knot. For the hair, the products that I'm gonna be using today is a little mousse and some hair gel to keep it as sleek as we can. These are the two combs I'm using. This one is like your tangle teaser and the other one helps me like keep my baby hair in its place. I basically want to make two parts of my hair first and then kind of see which area I want to take so that I can mousse it up. You. What I'm gonna do with my remaining hair is get some more mousse so that it has the same texture. <laughs> Once you have like both the ponies together, just go around it. Take your pins and just secure it. Ta-da! What a neat fun it is. So I'm gonna finish this up at the end with the uh, finishing spray, but let's first get on with the makeup, but so far so good. Lenses check, hair check. So we're gonna do the base first today, unlike other days where I do my eyes first and then the base, but today let's get on with the base first and then we move on to the eye. Okay, so for the face, we're going for a matte look, so I'm going to use Smashbox Primer Photo Finish. Foundation NARS Longwear, 
three and a half pounds. So guys, I actually forgot my application brush, but luckily I don't have nails. So I'm gonna literally just use my, oh my God, I don't think I've ever used my finger in my life to apply foundation, but I have seen women do it. This feels weird and very, very stone age. So for the brighter concealer today, I'm using Born This Way Too Faced. So I'll just literally put that below my eye to conceal. Using a sponge, a damp sponge. I like using a damp sponge to blend my under eye concealer. I feel like it gives me a better hand at it, like rather than a brush. I'm gonna quickly set this. Uh, we're using Smash. This is one of their newest primers, actually. This is supposed to be a primer, but I also like using it as a setting spray. You know, they really replaced the old one. I miss it, but it's pretty okay. It's just it's gonna take me some time to get used to something new, but let's try it. I've never used this. I wanna really set in the foundation and the concealer. Up next, what I wanna do is real quickly, while this dries, we're gonna use Laura Mercier's loose powder to set and bake my under eye. For contouring, we are, we are using Huda Beauty's uh, Tan and Tone Contour. For blush, we're gonna use Dior's Liquid Blush, and for my eyebrows, I'm using the, I think this is Anesthesia by Beverly Hills, I'm sure it is. This is almost dried, so let's quickly place my contour first. I wanna dry it a little more, and then go in with the powder. I'm using Sigma's uh, contour brush for blending. This one's really a good catch. I feel like guys, pre-contour, I'm so Indian, and post-contour, I'm so Latino. Like, I love it. How like a contour can change your entire ethnicity. Oftentimes, I want to stop here because brown is so good. So happy to be brown. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna make this area a little more like proper contour cut, like all those ladies who you see. Finally got the trick of what they do. I mean, it's like, it's no rocket science. Everyone knows it, but I'm just excited to find it. Blush is a Dior and the brush I'm using is Smashbox. Oh wow, the makeup looks great so far, yeah? So I'm gonna quickly also bake under my eye. I'm using the Laura Mercier loose powder and the brush I have chosen for this is Charlotte Tilbury quickly gonna move on with bronzer and right after that we're gonna do eyes so Bahama Mama for bronzer the brush again handpicked by Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and blush brush so appropriate for bronzer bro it's like as soft as you can think I'm gonna use an eye primer by Milk, eyeshadow primer. I should do my eyebrows later, so let's get the eye done first. I'm also kind of freaking out because it's like very unusual of me to do eyes after my base. We'll try to prevent as many fallouts as we can. For the concealer for the base of the eye, we're going to use Tarte concealer for, because I feel like the colors that I'm gonna use are brown and dark browns today, so I want it to pop. So I'm using like the brightest shade of concealer that I have. I mean, lightest for my skin tone, actually. Using the same loose powder to set the concealer before I go on with the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, we will use Huda Beauty's Remastered Palette. The colors that we're going to be using are basically the browns. If you see the last row, so you're gonna be using the colors Sandalwood, Henna, and uh, Coco. All the brushes for the eye today are from Sigma. Even the brush holder is actually from Sigma. It's really cute. They have really good brushes. The first two uh, colors that I'm gonna use is Henna and Sandalwood to so kind of mix both the colors on a fluffy brush. Go on the outer corner of my crease from the inner to the outer or anyway, actually. So for the outer corners, I'm gonna use the darkest shade in the palette, Coco. I'm using like a dome brush to create an outer V. I'm gonna try to not make it very prominent, but at the same time, kind of shape the eye. I'm doing the same thing to the inner corner.
haven't even finished, but I'm really thinking this is one of my most favorite looks by far. For the shimmer shade, the shade gold, I'm trying to find an appropriate brush for it. I do have a lot of brushes, but they're so dirty. What is the shade? 24, oh, 24 karat magic in the air. Right here, guys. If this is not your Christmas look, I don't even know what's your Christmas look. How nice is the eye, you guys? Just look at the colors, like just brown and gold is so freaking nice. Mm -hmm. And since it's like festive and Christmas, I'm really not shying away on the shimmer, but I want to give it a proper blend. So I'm going to go back to the same brush that I used at the beginning, mix the same colors and blend everything one last time. Oof, I'm done with the eyes. Using Cole today for my below waterline. This one's Smashbox. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just put this on my lower line just until halfway through, not the full thing. One last time because I kind of did the below line. So I am going to just make sure it all looks like a happy family. Moving on to the face, I'm also going to finish my eyebrow and then we're going to add some highlighter. We are almost there. Quickly moving on to highlighter and lipstick, but I'm going to wipe off what I had the lip oil from the beginning. Anesthesia by Beverly Hills Glow Kit. That's the highlighter I'm using today. And um, I'm gonna use the lighter shade actually. This one is bubbly. This is what I go for the most. Forever have been using a sponge for my highlighter, but I do have a new brush for Smashbox. I totally wanna try that today. I'm gonna use the lashes at the end, but for lipstick today, we're using everything from K-Beauty, a dark brown lip liner from K-Beauty. Oh, good Lord, I should have shot. Oh man, I, these are situations which you have to like really do what best you can. Shade one is Mousse by Snapshot. It's like the lightest nude that they have. Gonna go all over my lips with this one and then using K-Beauty's Shade Snapshot to just brighten up this lower part of the lip. Do love dabbing this on a finishing spray. I have two options actually, the same spray that I used in the beginning, but I'm kind of sticking to the same thing. Although this is like a legit finishing spray from uh, Smashbox and it's supposed to be a primer water, I kind of wanna, I feel like this does the job for both. What I actually want to try is first go on with just the mascara and apply two coats and see if I can avoid a pair of lashes today because I already have like lenses and I don't want to blind myself beyond this. I like how the Smashbox mascara like thinly spreads lashes apart. Like that's the difference between the Maybelline Colossal and the Smashbox though. Like the Colossal will kind of join two or three lashes. You know, it's just, it's just so inconsistent, but I feel with the Smashbox, it has like a very consistent quality to it. Pretty much done. Well, that's it. So I'm gonna go with the layer two, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do the last bit of fixing to the hair. Two options. One, you can either use a gel or you can use like a finishing spray. This one will last way longer than this one. If it's a long night out, I would suggest you go for a gel. I'm gonna do the same thing. Gonna go in with a little more for the lower part of my hair. Okay, so the last couple of things to finish up, guys. I'm gonna use a white coal because I feel like my eye looks too dead and I'm gonna drag this from the inner corner till the point where I had the black coal. Okay, going in with the second coat of mascara. The last product, as you know from all my tutorials, is my compact powder. This will prevent sweat, creases. I'm just gonna go in with the sponge that I used. I'm gonna use a little bit for my under eye first. And around the lips because that's where I tend to sweat. All right, guys, here is my Christmas look. I hope you guys liked it. Please do try to re recreate, recreate it. Merry Christmas. I hope you look as pretty as Santa Claus. Maybe that's not the right comparison, but you know what I mean. Cute, 
maybe. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're recreating the look, please don't forget to hashtag me motivated so that I know what you're doing and I can share all the love and all the comments in there. And last but not the least, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tell me what more looks you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great Christmas, you guys, and a fantastic new year.